I've been busy testing and taking photos with the new Nikon D3500 and in this video I want to show you how easy it is to stitch some of those images together to create a panorama in Photoshop or Lightroom. Hi, Paul here from Photogenius. Now we're talking panoramas. A panorama is a wide image that is basically a series of single images stitched together. Sometimes with landscapes, the view is just too wide, too vast to capture with a single image, even with a wide angle lens. And this is where panoramas come in. Now I've been testing out the new Nikon D3500 and I'm gonna be using Photoshop for this video, but if you like to use Lightroom, you can follow the same process because the actual process is pretty much exactly the same. So I was doing a workshop just a few evenings ago um, at sundown and uh, once everyone once we finished and everyone had packed away I took a series of images on my own of the Brisbane CBD looking across the Brisbane River. So what I'm going to do now is get these images into Photoshop. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the images in Photoshop. Now, because these are raw files, uh, it won't open directly in Photoshop. It will open in a side program called Camera Raw. This will allow us to edit the images. If they were JPEG images, it would open straight to Photoshop. Now, because the images are pretty big, they're raw files, it may take a few moments. So through the magic of video, of course, we can speed this process up. Okay, so here we go. Here's our seven images. And what we want to do here is we want to edit the images to make them look really cool. But what we want to do is we want to apply these changes to all the images, not edit them individually. So uh, over to the left, we got our, um, our thumbnail strip. And I'm going to select all of these together. And this means that if I edit this image, it will um, make changes to all of the images. Now, um, the image was purposely underexposed um, to avoid overexposing the lights on the bridge. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the exposure slightly and then I'm going to go to the highlights and bring the highlights down. This will reduce the brightest parts of the image and you can see it bringing back the detail on the bridge. Next I'm going to go to shadows and push the shadow slider over a bit to um, increase the shadows and dark areas. Uh, whites I'm going to go to and just push the whites up a little bit blacks up a little bit as well and this is starting to emphasize and bring out the detail in the sky so we can see the clouds there's also a couple of uh, stars at the top of the image here let's zoom in and take a quick look okay so this is looking pretty good so far now the image is already looking very sharp so I don't think I need to uh, sharpen it and uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I should have done this first really is I'm going to go to lens correction and I'm going to tick the two boxes over to the right and you will see that it recognizes the camera and lens that I've used and what it's done here is it's fixed any slight distortion if I turn off the uh, profile corrections you'll see there was a bit of distortion this is uh, the before image and this is the after so that's that's worth doing uh, next uh, look we'll go to sharpening and um, I'll increase the sharpening just a tiny bit looks pretty good there's a little bit of digital noise in the image so what I'm going to do next is go over to noise reduction and pop that up to about 25% and that will just soften that noise in the sky okay so look I don't want to spend too much time on this image that looks pretty good so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open the images and click on open images and this will open up the images into Photoshop now once again because they're raw files this can take several minutes depending on how quick your computer is but once again we can speed this process up now finally with all six images um, open the next step of course is to merge these together into one seamless panoramic uh, we go up to file down to automate select photo merge and we need to open the files so we click on add open files they should appear in this little box in the middle here i'm going to click a couple of boxes here at the bottom vignette removal geometric distortion correction and click ok photoshop now does its magic and again because they're raw files this can take a few moments but we're going to speed the process up through the magic of video and well, here we have our panorama. Now there are some parts of the image missing at the top and bottom, but that's not unusual when you pan a camera around. Um, so the first thing I want to do is just trim this. So I'm going to go to the crop tool and just bring this down a little bit. 
over to the right here, crop into this building. I might even lose that building actually. Uh, let's see, let's drag it back. Move the bottom in, put the horizon on the lower third, press return. And there is our panorama. I think that looks pretty awesome. Okay, so we're pretty much done. Now you will notice that there is a slight bowing or bending of the horizon. Uh, look, this shows that the tripod wasn't completely level when I took the photos. It was a little bit rushed, um, but the overall effect is, is pretty awesome. I'm just gonna now flatten the image. And there we go, one panorama image of Brisbane. And the detail of this image, considering this is taken with an entry level Nikon camera, is pretty amazing. Now don't forget to visit the Photo Genius website if you want to view a full high resolution version of this image. There's a link below the video. I'm really impressed with the way this image has turned out considering it's coming out of an entry level camera. I think it's pretty awesome. I hope you've enjoyed the process and you've learned something. Don't forget Photoshop Lightroom. The process is pretty much exactly the same. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget you can leave your questions, comments, suggestions down below. I hope to see you sometime soon. See ya.